What is the deal, y'all? It's your boy Tixter right here on the On Everything podcast. Today, we're going to be diving in to WAC 100 reply about what happened between Snoopy Badass and Brick Baby on No Jumper. Um, in case you guys don't know, let me set you up on the whole scenario here. Um, there was a little back and forth banter between Snoopy Badass and Brick Baby. Um, some may say that it seemed as if Brick Baby got marked out by Snoopy Badass. But hey, that's hearsay. Now, we have WAC 100 chime in on it um, from his clubhouse saying that that's exactly what happened. Snoopy Badass marked out Brick Baby um, on the back and forth. Then we have the responses of each Brick Baby and Snoopy Badass on the same incident. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this content. Let's get it. And, 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 I, don't, and I don't talk bad about the dead. For me, rest in peace, Slipper Honey. Condolences to his family. I got love for him, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it, it was a misunderstanding. And I believe. That's my Let me say something. I definitely not talking bad about it. And if I wanted to, I will. But I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm not. Listen, y'all pie rules. Whatever y'all got rolling. If I want to say fuck whoever, I'm going to say it in front of you whoever. So I'm telling you that. All right, bump the pie rules. So look. All right. Okay. That's what happened on the No Jumper podcast. Now, after that had went down. Let's get into what Brick Baby says on his response about the situation. There's been a lot of people trying to sow the narrative of the idea that you and him might have had a little bit of a standoff during the interview because there was a little bit of a moment of on um, Pyru and you were uh, on rolling. Uh, you were, <laughs> so, you were yeah. just kind of like, like it was weird. I wish like, they the, would have the, showed my camera angle though because people said that he pressed me or something. See, and, okay, uh, I want to see. Did, did you feel like that at any point? Because, okay, you saw the way I was fighting to talk instead of him because he was talking so a mile a minute that it was kind of hard to wedge yourself in so, there. So this the whole thing. We already had, whatever the case is, man, the energy outside when we first, yeah. You, know you were kicking with all the guys having yeah, a good yeah, time yeah, before yeah, it happened. Nah, nah, you didn't see the other parts. Oh, there was awkward yeah, yeah, stuff? Yeah, some shit going on, right? Ooh. But at the end of the day, right, when we was right here, he thought that I was, really, I didn't give a fuck, and I'm being professional showing you that I could interview people that got allegations of being a snitch. And... People that are self-centered, you get what I'm saying? Like <laughs> myself. Main character syndrome. Yeah, main you character heard of that? syndrome. Boom. That, that's exactly what it was, right? Okay. So when he did, like Snoopy can't see I he can't see me. Like I'm a hundred percent sure that I beat the fuck out of him, right? <laughs> so when he was doing the oh, if it was for 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 Slim, like it was like the little homie, like just like first of all, you biting at the air like I was getting at you like that, like nigga, and I'm like, that, yeah, me too, nigga. Mm. You get what I'm saying? He like on power rule. I'm like on rolling. And then I started to say something else, and I'm like, you know what? I'm right here with Adam interviewing, cause it really, you know what I mean? So sometimes I'm you kind of got to take a back seat. And you know what I'm going through? I'm not finna just super extra out gang bang on the camera, but your energy. You just popping it. Like, mm. I, I know a motherfucker who just pop it just to pop it. Like, a motherfucker pull up 80 deep and not one nigga from your hood. Like, I already know what type of person you are. Like, uh, you're, you, you've you been outlawed for talking too much. You get what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's no beef. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Bro, you, we like, know. You niggas got, got, you got your facts reports, bro. Bro, bro. You know. Nigga, everybody like, you got their record, bro. Yeah, you can't. It ain't it's no, your record. We not even the same else. caliber nigga when it comes to this gangbang. Like, sounds- and that's Brick Baby's reply right there. So he's getting back at Snoopy Badass. Let them know, no, he did not get marked out. This is how he, the situation jumped off and whatnot. Now, with Brick Baby making no statements, towards Snoopy Badass, now Snoopy Badass has a reply back to Brick Baby over the incident as well. Let's go. Hey, I just seen the little, uh, I just seen a little interview about, uh, what Brick Baby said, talking about my whole crew that I went to No Jumper turned on me. My nigga, why you get up there and lie like that, bruh? Why you get up, why you get up there and lie like that, bruh? Why you get up there and lie like that, bruh? You feel me? I understand, my nigga. You went and double taked and you went back and looked at the interview and it made you feel insecure and you got to clear yourself up. I understand, bro. I get it, bro. You feel me? But we all know the truth is what happened when I was there. That's the truth. So all that shit motherfuckers talking 
about he trying to go back and clear himself up, my nigga. That was cute, bro. That was real cute, bro. Dead homies, my nigga. Let, thank you for letting everybody see the hoe in you, my nigga. With them blueberry dreads, you blueberry bitch. Snoopy. He marked out. He marked out Brick Baby, though. Marked him out. And Brick Baby was the favor in that. Like, I don't know why he let him get that off. Why he let him get that off like that? Yeah, you feel like that was a mark out? Mark, like, man, let me explain something. Whenever, put it like this. If you talking to me, right, you, you like, whoa, 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 whoa. A West Peter, right? With authority. And I hit you with, the power ruin ain't now. Oh, right then, it's on. It's on. <laughs> Ain't no, this ain't no more podcast. <laughs> See, what do got to do is stop neighborhood and everything and just have a conversation. Because as soon as you neighborhood and then you went, our route now what? Now you got to do what a neighborhood's supposed to do. And there you have it. That's the whole situation right now between Snoopy Badass and Brick Baby and the opinions of WAC 100. Let me know down in the comment, what do you think? Do you think Brick Baby was marked out or do you think it's over-exaggerated and there's nothing here at all? Let me know, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like, man. Hey, welcome. Paper Hound TV, man. The breed to be. We got more content coming to you. Hey, stay tuned, man. Thank y'all for listening. I'm out.